Hey, it's Earth Castle. Something I don't see enough in maps these days is debris. Fallen in ceilings, broken floors, or generally decaying structures. Maybe you want to make something like that, but don't know how. Which is why today I'm going to teach you how to make debris and collapsing buildings in Hammer. Here we have a small room. Nothing much to note about it. Why don't we make a giant hole in the ceiling? First, make a brush where you want your hole to be inside of the ceiling. To make the hole look more natural, use the clipping tool to smoothen off parts until you get a rigid shape like this. This may take a while, and you can always change the shape if you want to. Once you've made a good crater shaped brush, use the dreaded carve tool. This tool is extremely dangerous to use and can crash your game or make your brushes not work so make sure to always save before doing this. To use it, while having your brush selected, go to Tools and Carve. This should carve the area around your crater shaped brush. Now that you have the hole, next you can make the debris. I'd recommend using props, but you can use brushes if it's important or the props aren't what you want. The debris section of props have plenty of great options, so for this crater I'll choose a couple from there. I chose one large one to be the main bit of collapse, some scattered on the floor, and some smaller parts look like the rubble after the collapse. Using big props like these can make the lighting on them a bit messy, especially when they span outside the room, so I'd recommend using info underscore lighting entities to make sure the props are properly lit. Now that you've got props, you can do the final step, which is adding detail to the crater. For this, making some jutting out rebar can look especially good. To do this, find a metal texture and make a sideways pole shaped brush inside of the concrete. Then duplicate this brush and move it to the side however much. Keep doing this until we have a line of poles. They can go from one side of the hole to the other, or just a small part if you want. Then duplicate these poles and rotate them 90 degrees to make a grid like pattern. After that, start to shape the poles with the clipping tool, similar to the crater. You can cut the poles in half, make them bent, or even remove some entirely. This makes them look extremely weird and broken from whatever caused the crater and the outside elements. After making them, make sure to group all them into a funk detail to optimize your map. Then you're done. This hole in the ceiling looks amazing, lets natural light through, and has so much detail to the room. I even made the metal beam holding the light broken to emphasize the scale of the crater and the debris. Thanks for watching, if you enjoyed make sure to check out my other Hammer content, and that's all for now, see ya!